I can stop any time. After this week. It's natural. Safer than alcohol. I just need it to sleep. Otherwise, my brain won't shut off. I've got it under control. Tiny hits, only weekends. Starting Monday. Relatable, right? Those are the classics of the I'll Quit Tomorrow group chat. Translation. Monday means not today. We support legalization, and we're pro-truth. Cannabis is a drug with upsides and downsides. Today's products are stronger. How much, how often, and how early you start really matter. Weed actually means what, what's inside it. THC causes the high by turning on CB1, a cannabinoid receptor in your brain. CBD isn't intoxicating and may soften some THC effects for some people. In the next few minutes, how THC nudges memory, sleep, and mood, and three harm reduction rules to stay in control, not controlled. Let's see what happens inside the body. Higher THC means bigger effects. And if you overdo it, bigger side effects. Start low, notice how you feel, and don't stack doses fast. Today's weed is like espresso compared to yesterday's tea. Same plant, louder volume. But I'm fine. Most people are. Still, about 3 in 10 users meet criteria for cannabis use disorder, and roughly 1 in 8 reach moderate to severe levels, especially with high THC daily use. Translation, I'm chill doesn't mean I'm immune. Real talk, does quitting actually suck? How long does the rough part last? For frequent high THC users, your brain builds tolerance. When you stop, withdrawal can show up. Poor sleep, vivid dreams, irritability, low mood. It's usually worst in the first 48 to 72 hours, then eases over one to three weeks. People vary. Don't judge quitting by those worst 72 hours. So the goal is survive the first three days, then it keeps getting easier. Exactly, basic helps. Morning daylight plus short walk, regular meals, a simple wind-down routine at night, and skip driving if your sleep's wrecked. THC binds CB1 receptors. Short-term, it can lower attention, memory, and reaction time. That's why don't drive or do risky tasks for hours after using, especially with edibles. For teens, be real. Is weed actually a bigger risk? Developing brains are easier to knock off balance. Early, heavy, high THC use raises the odds of cannabis use disorder and some mental health problems, including psychosis-related episodes in vulnerable people. If you're under your 20s, the best rule is not yet. Build the brain, then experiment, like finishing the house before rewiring it. How do I know if I'm slipping? What are the red flags? Red flags, needing more to feel the same, using even when it hurts. Work, school, sleep, relationships. Trying to cut back and can't. Feeling worse without it. If that's you, talk to a clinician or counselor. Or try a two-week reset. Regular sleep, real meals, walks, and light comedies. Simple beats, heroic. Bottom line. If it's legal, why should I still go easy on it? Legalization is good. Truth is better. Cannabis is less harmful than alcohol, but it's still a drug. Stronger products plus more frequent use equals more risk. The fix is simple. Dose smart, pace yourself, skip days, and never drive high. If this made things clearer, tap like. Subscribe for more short, clear science. Be nice to your CB1 receptors. And your pickles. See, See you, you next, next time. time.